Death Stranding. Can we please talk about this? Yeah, I'm laying on the topic, I get it. It's probably because I was so let down with the game that I decided to toss it aside and not touch it for months until now. But the topic of Death Stranding itself has been talked about and memed on a lot. And just like other games that let us down like Halo 5, No Man's Sky, and Anthem, Death Stranding has a lot of videos talking about why the game itself sucks. I mean, a lot. But Matt, you ask, what are they all missing? The hype, and more specifically, the overhype that was set in place by the community. The insurmountable amount of hype and praise this game was getting and the wild fanbase speculation leading the day up to launch was insane. If you were on this subreddit or YouTube, because that certainly had no shortage of videos and speculation, then you wouldn't inevitably see Kojima's friends running their mouth about how great this game was. Kojima's friends pretty much pumped the hell out of the Death Stranding stock. One in particular was Jordan Roberts in an Instagram post that read, Kojima recently honored me by letting me play Death Stranding. The world creation is next level immaculate. You are not ready. <clears throat> Does anyone see a problem here? All right, let me make this simple. Most people expected more from Death Stranding. At the end of the day, the game really is just delivering packages. Or you can use the offensive slang term, a walking simulator. Seriously though, when everyone saw the trailers, our minds were collectively blown. Based on all the weird stuff happening in them, I didn't have any idea what this game was, but I didn't think it would be just making deliveries. And this assumption was pretty consistent across the community too. Before the launch of the game, we had some kind of idea that you would be delivery man, but we didn't think that's all it was going to be. And I think these clips from Yang Ya's Death Stranding videos are a great example of how the entire Death Stranding community felt before launch. And I'll bet you that Death Stranding's gameplay goes far deeper than just transporting some packages through a ravaged landscape. Now, I've seen some people express concerns that this game will simply end up being some kind of walking simulator, but knowing Kojima, I am confident in saying that there will be much more to gameplay than meets the eye here. I mean, have you seen all the crazy shit in previous trailers? Does this really strike you as a game that's just about moving boxes until the game launches? So yeah, did you catch that? We all thought there was going to be much more to the game than what we were shown. Since I already know what some people are going to say, let me just attack the arguments right now. The game is more than just moving boxes. You can break down any game like that. COD, you just shoot people. Halo, you just shoot aliens. Okay, you can break a game down like that, but the big difference is those gameplay loops and those games are fun. Hey, what? what's Death Stranding's gameplay loop? I, I forget. Walking for hours to get your package and the thing steal your package and you get caught in the car and you take your package and drop your package. That's not fun. Well, even if it is just delivering packages, there's different deliveries you do and terrain you have to scale to keep the gameplay varied. All right, I hate to do this, I really do, and I feel like Mr. Plinkett comparing Citizen Kane to the prequels here, but let's take a look at Witcher 3. Break it down to the simplest terms, you kill people and monsters. However, each quest where you're killing monsters or people is handled differently. Even while the vast majority is killing things, it isn't always like that. Sometimes you're finding clues to get yourself to the monster in question. The characters in each of these quests have unique personalities and their own stories. I could go on for hours about all of this, but the bottom line is the quests in Witcher differ from Death Stranding in a few major ways. Variety and character. Not to mention the impact your choices have on the world around you. So what about Death Stranding? What are the side quests? Deliver packages. What is the main quest? Deliver packages. Do we care about the characters in this epic world that we are not ready for? No, they're literally just boring holograms that disappear about five seconds after you deliver their stupid package. Ah, oh, to you. How's it going? Wow, this is revolutionary stuff, guys. Well, but what about the strand system? This brings me to the most disappointing part of Death Stranding, the strand system and the multiplayer aspect. This was hyped up and down the internet for months. If you don't know what it is, let me explain. You guys ready for this? No, you're not. You're just not ready. All right, all right, get this. Remember Dark Souls? Remember how you could put messages down and other players could see and read them? Well, take that and add buildings and roads and there you go. The ironic thing is, is that these structures make the game easier. They make it easier by letting you skip walking over the terrain. What is 90% of Death Stranding? Walking over terrain. 
it essentially helps you skip the game. All right. I know I'm just going off on a tangent right now. This video is supposed to be about how Death Stranding was overhyped and how that led to people being disappointed. So let's put yourself in the shoes of someone who has been following this game since the teaser trailer was launched at E3. Then a year before Death Stranding releases, you're hit almost weekly with tweets from developers who have played the game and said the game was revolutionary, breathtaking, amazing, next level, and basically a work from God himself. Now, with all that hype, would you expect a game where you just deliver packages? I would probably say no. The last thing that I want to show you is this post from the Death Stranding subreddit. Now, this was about a year ago before Death Stranding was even out. It's basically a warning to all of us. The responses are actually hilarious in retrospect. But anyway, this guy had an idea of what Death Stranding was going to be. Turns out his idea was pretty much spot on. In a snippet, he says, The general gameplay will revolve around delivering things from point A to point B. And uh, yeah, dude, good job, you pretty much nailed it. He even goes into the multiplayer aspect, and he's kind of spot on there too. I mean, he gets more conceptual with it, but essentially he's saying you build a safe path for other delivery men, and that's pretty much what you do with the strand system so yeah this guy pretty much predicted exactly what that stranding was and people who responded were not happy at all for instance one person said Great theory, but in my opinion, the delivering things aspect is just a small part of Death Stranding and after a point would be relegated to side quest. Sorry man, not only is it the side quest, but it's also the main quest. It's actually the entire game. Another response, this honestly sounds quite boring. I have to imagine there's something more to it than that. And it goes on and on like that, but when it comes down to it, he pretty much was right, almost 100%. You literally deliver packages from point A to point B, and that's almost the entire game. And it's pretty clear that people that were following Death Stranding at the time were not happy about that and did not want that, but that's what you got. So yeah, you pretty much get the point. I mean, now you could argue that this is all revolutionary stuff, I guess, but if you were following the hype leading up to the game, you were pretty much bound to be disappointed. There was never any insane gameplay mechanics that were going to blow our mind, the world wasn't as open or as exciting as we all speculated it to be, and the people that got to play early, they were pretty much just hyping up the game for their friend. I mean, how could you not? If your buddy Kojima comes up to you and says, dude, I've been working on this game for like 18 years now, I'm going to let you play and it's going to be my masterpiece. Are you really going to dumpster on it? All right, I'm done with this. I know I'm going to get a lot of hate, and I know this is late, but whatever. I know I dumpster on the game hard, but in truth, I appreciate Kojima for pushing the boundaries and trying to make a game that's not your typical AAA game. It's different. The only problem is it failed to live up to the insane hype surrounding it. Maybe that's not his fault. Maybe it's the developers who got early access. Maybe it's the fans with their wild speculation. But either way, I'll never get my hopes up like that again for a game. Because let's face it, if this game was made by anyone other than Kojima itself, it wouldn't be as well received. That's just facts. But man, I can't wait for Cyberpunk 2077. Not a chance this thing could fail. F yeah. I, I love him.